guys, it's Lon. Welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a week in my life. Uh, this is the last week before we travel for 30 days. And if you guys still don't know what I'm talking about, what vacation I'm referring to, then you need to check out my latest two videos. The one where it says I have a big announcement and the last one, um, which is titled getting ready for vacation. So this is going to be another getting ready for vacation week in my life vlog. We officially have one week left. So we are really down to the wire and I'm doing lots of like last minute things. So I wanted to kind of show you guys the madness that is Anaya's room. So I have piles of clothes everywhere. Um, and right now I am just, um, how can I say, roughly going through Anaya's clothes and getting an idea of what I want to pack. So although we are actually going to be gone for 30 days, I am not packing for 30 days, if that makes sense. So um, basically we are staying in a lot of Airbnbs and a lot of villas. And in those places, we will have access to washers and dryers like in our actual unit. So um like, for example, I'm packing seven sets of pajamas and um, before we leave to go to our next destination, we will do laundry in our Airbnb. So that's what you see me doing. I'm not packing like 30 things of pajamas and 30 pairs of underwear. That would just be way too much and we would definitely overpack. So right now I'm getting out her PJs and then this section is going to be for like... Um, fancier summer outfits so I got like a jumpsuit there so anything that's like not a t-shirt and shorts is going there I'm gonna lay out the pajamas lay out like a couple of pairs of like shorts and all that other stuff so you guys can kind of follow along with me as I kind of get ready and these are I don't know if I mentioned but these are all clean clothes I just did her laundry so that's why I have all the clothes laid out and yeah just trying to leave out enough stuff for her to go to school this week and then that'll pretty much be it. much oh my gosh these oh my gosh this is 20 uh is it 20 i think it's like 18 tops i was trying to stick to 15 but i had 18 couldn't put some of them away um oh my gosh y'all i'm just we'll see we'll see how the chips fall when i actually like start putting this in a suitcase because if, if it starts to be too much i'm definitely taking this out like she really doesn't need 15 tops, maybe like 12, um, not 18 tops. She probably needs maybe like 12 to 15. Okay, so I am just about done. Um, so this is what I got so far. So I have her life vest. These are all of her shirts. These are her different shorts. Y'all, first of all, let me just say that I already feel like I'm overpacking. I started out good over here. Once we got to the day-to-day -day outfits, I feel like I'm overpacking. That's like, like I said, like 18 shirts. She has two pairs of jean shorts. She has the little biker shorts, um, like more like thicker sweatpant material shorts, and then some linen shorts. Then over here, she has bathing suits. I think she only has like five or six bathing suits. Um, I packed her like 10 pairs of underwear. This is her bonnet and her do-rag. Um, I only packed like six or seven uh, PJs. And then these are more like cuter outfits, like jumpsuits and stuff like that. She doesn't actually have any dresses, which I'm realizing, you know, like maxi dresses or like summer dresses. So maybe like three dresses. Um, and then these are like heavier items for when we're going to the airport, like in between the different destinations. Um, so just like thicker things where she can kind of keep warm on the airplane and then just a jean jacket because y'all know it'd be cold on the airplane. So this is the base of everything. Um, still has, have not packed um like her toiletries um which she doesn't really have many but her toiletries obviously her shoes I'm not going to pack until next week when she's done with school um her sound machine and then like any other like small stuff that I can't pack until like she's completely done with school um but yeah I think I got a good start 
the test of all of this will really be when I start to like put it into the suitcase. That'll really let me know if I'm overpacking or not. So let me show y'all something else. And then this is the start of her carry-on. It may bite me in the butt to have two carry-ons, one for me and one for her, but I'm telling you, it also may give me peace of mind to just have all of her stuff in one area and I don't have to deal with it um, because I'm definitely going to bring a lot more activities for her to do on the plane. So right now I have Play-Doh. Um, obviously these are her wipes for the plane but then I'm also going to do like those puffy 3D stickers um I just haven't purchased those yet the 3D stickers I'm going to do a coloring book she'll have her iPad she will have a pillow and a blanket and so yeah all of this stuff is not going into my carry-on so this is the beginning of her carry-on stuff and then this is the beginning of her toiletries her uh sunscreen and then her toothbrush and toothpaste <music> table um and in a few days when i get um the remaining small things like i was telling you guys the dresses and um a few of the activities for the airplane um then i'll put all of her stuff away i just like keeping it out like this so that i can absolutely see you know a hundred percent what i have um and then that way if i feel like i'm missing anything or if i'm wondering if i pack something or if i missed out on it or whatever i can clearly see it instead of having to rummage through the suitcase so yeah all right y'all so it's tuesday my hair is deconditioning but i thought i'd show you what i just got in the mail these are really good so the first thing i got were these earrings i feel like these earrings are really on trend for one of our destinations so wink wink um so yeah just wanted to do something a little bit different and it goes with one of my outfits that i'm going to be wearing and i think i can get a lot of wear out of these on our trip then i also you literally can't go wrong with just like classic studs this is what i wear nine times out of ten usually only wear like real earrings earrings when i'm like trying to dress up an outfit but yeah i had to get some studs y'all had to get these these types of earrings are like in right now and i thought again these could definitely be like a casual earring but if i'm wearing something like casual cute and want to dress up the outfit a little bit more i feel like the earrings would be nice so got these then y'all these are packing cubes sorry not focusing these are packing cubes honey oh my gosh why are we not focusing again these are packing cubes i am obsessed i have never purchased packing cubes before i've never used them to pack um but yeah i was just like you know since we're gonna be away for a while i feel like this will help me with my ocd um as far as like compartmentalizing a lot of different things so this is a little cosmetic bag or a toiletry bag to hold pads and tampons because obviously since we'll be gone for a while, I will have those and it's like, okay, am I just going to throw them loose in my suitcase? No. So when I saw that they had this and y'all, this was $2.80. So you like put the pads inside and then the tampons in these little flaps here. So I was just like, yes, like boom then this one uh, I'm, i don't know why i've never purchased this before like i can't believe it took me this long for packing cubes to go in trend for me to get these so this is a cosmetic bag 
And so, first of all, it has the hook. So you can actually like hang it up. You can put like your brushes in this part. It's so many just different compartments. So that way I can have my makeup all in one place. And this compartment is pretty big too. And it has additional pockets on the inside. Um, and it actually gets really, really thick if you guys can see that. Okay, so I just laid everything out. Um, so they have all these different sizes. So this is one. I don't know what I'm going to put in here yet. Here's another one. And they all like, you know, get thick. Um, this is for like shoes, but like literally this is only for one pair of shoes. So I don't know what I'm going to put in this. I'll try to probably put as many flip flops as I can fit in here. This is like a, um, like for dirty laundry and stuff like that. I already have something for that. So I'll repurpose this into something else. Here's another toiletry bag for whatever. Another small one of these. Another medium size one of these. Um, and then this is the tampon bag and then the makeup bag. So yeah, I got all this for $17. And like I said, these are like $30, $35 on Amazon. Um, I don't know how this is going to work out because these look a little small. Like, I wish I had a couple of this size. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do exactly what I did with Anaya stuff. And then once I, you know, get everything in the suitcase, I'll show you guys probably like later on in the week what it looks like. All right, guys. So it is now Wednesday. Um, today I am going to go get my brows done and I'm actually getting them tinted. You guys, I don't know if you know, but I feel like I've talked about my eyebrows. They're just so fine. Like the hair on my brows are so fine. So when I saw that they offered tinting services, I was like, oh, heck yeah, let me do that. Um, I actually wanted to get my brows laminated because um, I like wearing my brows that way anyway, but I have not allowed my brows to grow out for as long as I need them to but I think the next time after my brows grow out I'm gonna definitely get it laminated I did not know that this spa that I always go to to get my pedicures does lamination so there's that so I'm about to get my brows waxed and, and tinted um and then a little bit later after that I'm gonna get a pedicure I had my pedicure scheduled for tomorrow but then they canceled so I had to move it to today but I felt like it was fine anyway since I'm getting gel polish. You know, gel will literally last you like a month. Um, so I really did not mind moving it up. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. So let's head into the spa. <music> gosh y'all my brows she did such a amazing job first of all she kept my brows thick which is what I told her I wanted her to keep them as thick as she possibly could while adding an arch and then make them dark but not too much like make them natural she did such an amazing job like I love the thickness of my brows I love that they are dark but not too dark and as they um as like time moves on they'll like lighten up y'all i'm already addicted like i can literally just like leave the house and my brows look fine um the only thing is like you know when i actually shape them up with makeup they're gonna look even more like pronounced i feel like at this with with how my brows look right now i don't even need to like fill them in i only need to conceal them oh my gosh y'all I am like so happy. <laughs> These look really good. I'm so glad that I took a leap of faith and got this done. So I'm definitely going to be going back to her 
very soon, probably after the trip, when these wear off, I'm going back. Watching my page, say they miss what I gave them. I'm doing fine now. I feel amazing. I'm out of their range. Keep them guessing when they ask about us. Don't give them. Alright, guys, so I'm editing the vlog and I'm actually going to conclude it. But in the process of me editing, I'm realizing that I've deleted Thursday's footage because um I also upgraded my phone and so I was going through deleting stuff I thought that I had already imported the footage but I did not so I accidentally deleted it so I'm going to catch you guys up a little bit on Thursday I was showing you my suitcase because I did uh pretty much I'm, I'm about 95 percent finished packing so let me go show you guys that and then I'm going to conclude the vlog all right, so here's what my suitcase looks like with the packing cubes. And I think if you guys are traveling for a long time, then you should get two sets of packing cubes. So I only had enough for um, this side, but I didn't have enough for this side, um, which is expected, obviously, because we're traveling for a long time. So I would just start out with buying two and you can use them as you see fit or use multiple of the big size. It's completely up to you. Um, so I don't know. I can't remember now <laughs> what is in each packing cube, but I definitely have like dresses pants shirts toiletries um um like my oh, my undergarments and bras and stuff like that over here and then on this side it's like swimsuits cover-ups um pajamas they got some sunglasses over there and some sandals and I still got to add two more pairs of sandals, workout gear, um, workout shoes, stuff like that. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of that. Um, I have some things in the tailor, so I'm just waiting on like two pairs of pants, um, one more pair of shoes and I'm going to be done. And Anaya is all ready as well. Um, I have not closed her suitcase yet because as I mentioned, there are some things that she uses on a daily basis that I'm not going to be able to put in here until like literally the day that we leave after she wakes up. Um, so that's what I'm waiting on. And then also for her carry on bag i have not packed that yet because i decided i'm going to use her school book bag because that is the perfect book bag to take for traveling especially because it has a little insulated portion at the bottom so i decided that's what i'm going to use i'm still waiting on her stickers i'm going to add her books to this pile i'm also going to add um um she has like a dry erase book as well and i got her some dry erase markers there um but yeah we are pretty much like here's her shampoo and conditioner i don't know if i showed you guys that i actually filled it up and then here is like some styling um product and then i think this is like a leave-in this is a hair lotion that came in like one of my purchases basically so yeah we are all ready and just basically ready for the trip Thank you guys so much for rocking out with us. Um, I know someone said last week that they wanted to see a packing, uh, pack with me video. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this. Um, just stay tuned for future vlogs. We're going to try to edit while we're on vacation so that you guys can get some vlogs while we're there. Um, can't promise anything, of course, but that's the plan. Um, so yeah, we may see you in a few weeks. We may see you next month. All, Either way, I hope that you guys are well. I hope you guys stay well. I hope that you guys enjoy the start of the summer. Um, try to get out. Enjoy the beautiful sunlight because it's going to be amazing. It's going to be a great summer. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll see you in our next one, guys. Peace. Oh, wait. Also, follow us on Instagram. If you have not already, that is where we're going to be posting. If you have not followed Henry, uh, myself, or our joint Instagram, so I'll, um, they're always in the description box. Just look in the description box and you will see all of our Instagrams. Um, and then that way you can follow along with us because that's where we're going to be posting in real time. So if you don't want to you know, miss out on anything and you want to stay in on the fun, look at what a night did to me, y'all, if you're wondering. Um, if you want to stay included on the fun, that's where you need to be following. So we'll see you soon, guys. Peace.